Hi guys, and today I'm going to tell you how to cover severe dark under eye circles. And believe it or not, I actually have quite bad dark circles underneath my eyes. They're mainly caused by genetics, but also the lack of sleep, because I don't really sleep for many hours. I usually sleep for like a few hours, which is not enough, and that contributes to my dark circles. But for me, it's mainly the genetics, especially my nan on my dad's side has really bad dark circles as well. And as a child, I went to many doctors to ask about my dark circles with my nan from my mom's side and they all said there's not much you can do about them because it's just the genetics and I've tried a few skincare items orientated around making your dark circles invisible but to be fair most of them are really gimmicky and most of them I can't even use because they're usually gel based formula eye creams and they dry my skin out like crazy I like cream eye creams not gel eye creams because my skin is so super dry and gel eye creams usually dry your skin out so I usually can't use them and even if I can they usually irritate my skin or just don't work at all so I just cover them with makeup with some concealer some foundation and some powder a couple years ago I told one of my friends from college that I have actually really bad dark circles and she wouldn't believe me she would be like no, you don't have really bad under eye circles, what are you talking about? But it's just the matter of covering them up. So yeah, if you want to see how I cover my dark under eye circles, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to take my makeup off only from underneath this eye. And to do that, I'm going to use my all-time favorite makeup remover, which is Garnier Simply Essentials 2-in-1 Makeup Remover. This is my favorite, this is amazing. This takes your makeup off within seconds and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to just put some of this on my cotton pad and then press it gently and take my makeup off from just underneath my eyes so we can see the difference between this eye and this eye. So let me just shake it quick and then put some on Okay you guys, so now you should be able to see my dark under eye circle. Basically what I'm going to be using to cover it are all drugstore products. I don't want to include any high-end products in this video because I want to make sure that everyone or at least almost everyone will be able to afford the products that I'm using. And I'm going to use two concealers from Collection and I'm really sorry if you can't get Collection where you live. I know in most places you can't get Collection but if you are from US or Canada then the concealer that works really similar to collection is the one from LA Girl. The LA Girl Pro concealer works really similar to collection concealers so just get that one instead of this one. They're both inexpensive, they're both from the drugstore but obviously LA Girl you can get in different places and collection you can get in different places so depends where you're from and what products you can get hold of just use this one or the other one they're very similar. But I actually have two colors of this concealer, that's why I have two. But so far I will only worry about one in the shade 2, cool, medium. Now, I'm not cool toned, I don't have pink undertones, I have very yellow undertones. However, salmon color or pink color in general will correct that kind of darker purpley bluey color better than the yellow color concealer and I don't mind if this doesn't match me because I will cover this afterwards anyway and one thing that I've learned over the years is that firstly apply concealer then apply your foundation don't do it the other way around if you have dark under eye circles if you don't have dark under eye circles then just apply your foundation first and then concealer but for dark under eye circles I would say apply concealer, foundation and then another concealer on top just to lock that concealer in place and make sure it won't fade within the day. It will stay for the whole entire day, it won't fade, it won't smudge, it won't budge. So that's what I'm doing now. So just dot it like that. You don't need much product at this point at all just because you will be putting foundation and another concealer on top. And to blend that out you can use your finger, that's totally fine, but what I will be using is this 
Ego Tools foundation brush and this is flat top foundation brush. I hate flat top foundation brushes for foundation but for concealer they work really great for the matte because they are flat and they ensure you have a lot of coverage in your concealer. You just basically tap it, don't try to blend it like crazy, just tap it and it will be absolutely fine. And once this is blended, you can already see a major difference in your dark under eye circles. They may not be completely covered, but they are covered enough. But if you are like me and you are yellow tone, you can definitely see the difference between the color of your under eye and the color of your skin. So now I'm going to put some foundation on top. And the one I'm using is my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. It's my all time favorite foundation, but it's also the one that will cover your dark under eye circles even better because this is full coverage foundation so if you put this on top of that you will achieve even more of that coverage so that's what I'm going to be applying and the way I apply this just because it doesn't come with a pump I have to use q-tips to apply this so basically I scoop some foundation and then dot it around the face if you don't like full coverage foundations then you don't have to use this two concealers should be enough but if you are like me and you just have to make sure that everything looks even and perfect then the full coverage foundation would be a good one to go for and then the way I like to blend my foundation at the moment because it always changes is with a nice flat top brush that's not very dense that's kind of fluffy so you can still blend with it yet it's flat top so you achieve a lot of coverage and you don't waste much product so let me just blend it quickly to my skin like so and yeah now that's blended and then if you can still see some of a dark circle peeking through and then just use the concealer that's the right shade to your skin tone so for me that's warm medium number three from collection and then i'm going to use the same flat top brush to blend that out And what I have to do now to stop my foundation from creasing is to use a fluffy small fluffy brush like this one I'm sorry this is dirty but I used it before I started to record this video and then a powder to set it and my favorite powder to set my concealer is this one from Sephora this is my mineral powder but just for the purpose of this video and me using only drugstore products I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Matte powder so I just put some on my brush and nicely tap that underneath my eyes to assure my foundation and my concealer that I put won't crease and it won't move anywhere. I'm going to quickly reapply my bronzer actually. Okay yeah that will do. So yeah you guys, that is the end for this video, hope you found it useful, thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed, if you did then please like it and subscribe to me if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one, bye!